Season. What are the best times for TV? So like, I want to make sure we leave her with some jewels and some information. All right, cool. So we're talking prime time TV, yeah? Yeah. Like you're talking about eight till, eight till 10, eight till 10. is perfect because yeah. let's say Middle England, they, they eat early, seven o'clock. Big fat. They eat seven o'clock, yeah. cool, finish my dinner, eight o'clock. Let the food go down at eight, from eight till 10. That's what was really funny. When I had my show, boom, it was like, yeah, cool. Got the latest show. And I had people being like, right, like, how come you got this late show? I'm like, bro, it's 10 o'clock, bruv. And it's like, called late-ish. Yeah, it's like 10, yeah, 10 o'clock like, is a decent slot, bruv, on yeah, TV. Mm. 11 o'clock's okay, but 11 o'clock, like, for example, it's, it's dip, like, off, like you can say cunt, for example, at 11 o'clock. Ah, okay. Can't really do that My at type of vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, like, can you say that on... Uh, yeah, about 11 o'clock, you can, you can, okay. you can kind of go I there. I didn't know, like, because yeah. obviously... He's like, he's like, yeah. That's why, for example, you look at, like, Big Nasty show, you can kind of go there with some of that stuff because that's class is like late night TV and I, no, like like, nasty I, I thought I thought it was like bitch regardless. and shit. But <laughs> yeah. to see you next nah, Tuesday. You, you can though. Like, to what certain is, people is like is, you kind of can at like like ten nine ish at a push, but you can't have too many in it. Yeah. Mm. So you can't have. Too so if you're gonna use it, make sure the joke bangs. It's right, got to be right, right, yeah, right, it has right. to have a context. Punch you can't line. just be saying it willy nilly in it. <laughs> yeah. I've always found in it. Mm. So that's definitely like in terms of TV. Like for example, what helped the documentary when it came out last week was the fact that. Taskmaster came on at nine o'clock. That it, and that's the first episode of Taskmaster. They get big viewing figures, in it. Yeah. yeah. So I know everyone's gonna watch. So we got a wicked slot getting it right after because you inherit another audience. Yeah. So it's like, imagine you just watching comedy. Cool. Coming up is this next. Oh, yeah. more comedy. Yeah. Oh, a documentary. I'm gonna move. Mm. I'm gonna move for fun. So I'm you go move, straight yeah. back over to another thing. So I had some people message. Oh, why is it that they always put our things on so late? And I'm like, bro, like this is a perfect time. For this documentary, man, I'm like, even like, um, it's at four a.m. when you got the sign language done to the yeah. corner. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see someone comment that. I was like, I was like, oh, uh, never forget Waka Flocka was on stage, <laughs> <laughs> and then Donnie was doing sign language. Waka Flocka were dancing. Like, yeah. ah, ah. He didn't realize Donnie was doing sign language. I thought he was hitting the dab when he was yeah, actually bro. doing sign Donnie's language. Doing sign language for your show, yeah. And Waka started dancing with them. <laughs> I think now for TV. I wonder why they do that though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like 4 a.m. So like, late, what is this the only time when yeah, like. Yeah, <laughs> it comes on late, innit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what you go on. That's what. Find out for us what really. Why that happened. Yeah, I'll here. find out what yeah. that was yeah. doing. Because I asked Bear these questions, you know? Yeah. We were mm. talking about some serious to me, and I'm like, can I show you something? You see an advert, yeah? How come they got this sponsor in advert? No, nah, because they do all the comedy ones. Okay. Mm. All right, fair enough. Mm. Cool. I remember one time we was doing. We was doing. <laughs> It was recorded later, showing it. It's pre-recorded, isn't it? Mm. So I said something like, I just improv I was like, well, once this rubbish advert is done, then I'll be back. Like, no, after these rubbish uh. adverts. Like, but, bruv, you need adverts to sell your your yeah. your programs, isn't it? Of course. Because adver- advertising companies will buy slots. So they were like, cool, we know this will be a, there will be a lot of young people will take this slot yeah. here, innit? That's why you get, like, like football matches, betting adverts, because they know half time you're going to bet. Big facts. So that's why they have those slots... You know, you get all the big companies that want those like X Factor and stuff. Like you get them, them adverts are mad wars, expensive, bro. Eh? bro. Yeah. That's why they premiere adverts during like a Britain's Got Talent final oh, okay. because that's a premiere to do the John Lewis advert. Everyone yeah. sees it at the time. We all tweet, so that's kind of like. But I think we've like what other gems are there with TV? I think. Do you know what it is? I think now with TV, it's like it's really important to start exporting your whatever your your program is. Yeah. If you can do a banging sitcom and sell it around the world, you'll be set for life. Like if you can make an uh, The Office, because I think <laughs> you have to go past a certain amount of episodes before, I think it's like something to do with royalties and stuff. Hence why, you know, people like Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Like, why he's so rich. Yeah. Because they will have, what we forget is that somewhere on Albanian TV, <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld comes on, but in different language. Yeah. yeah. Same with Him things and Larry like- David. All um, that stuff, Fresh friends. Prince, yeah, all that stuff. Because I think there's, there's a, I can't remember what someone's telling, me, but it's like yeah, the, the, the cast of Friends of ain't really worked like like that. Yeah, aside from you know Jennifer Aniston, but like they're good. Yeah, they don't have to do anything. All those again, programs, bro. everybody hates Raymond, Friends, Seinfeld, The Office. Hates Raymond. Um, you can sell those products. You know what it is? He's an idiot. <laughs> What's it called? Everybody loves Raymond, isn't it? Everybody loves yeah, Raymond. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't, I'm not up early like you, bruv. Everybody hates Chris, you might have meant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that called again? Like Everybody hates Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Cruz and that would do. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. One of the best Tight. TV dads ever, bruv. 
Yes, yeah, the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's <laughs> better than Sir the Milk, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I think now for TV, like creating formats mm. is like, you know, things like X Factor, Britain's yeah. Got Talent. It's a format. You can package it and sell it around the world. You can sell it to Australia, yeah. Nigerian version. You don't, you just collect the check. I love Ireland. using your format. No, it's, what you're saying is right. It's mm. just true. You know? So I think now it's like formats are, you know, but most of the formats are made by like, the big TV companies like, I don't know, man, like, who's like a big TV, like Vi- Viacom. Right, right, Viacom right, right, who own right. everything, everything, Channel 5, yeah, yeah. Comedy Central. MTV. They will make formats and mm. they will shot it around the Because they've got the, they've got the houses, the TV, they've got yeah. everything oh, in all it. these yeah, yeah. Radio, they've got everything. Well, yeah. Yeah. So like program, MTV, yeah? Catfish, Catfish obviously blew up in the States. Mm. They're bringing Catfish over here. Yeah. Bro, do you know, do you know I realize the thing is, 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 is finished? When it was Big Brother Africa, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, slap like, me, oh, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that scene? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> She's like, slap me. Yeah. I'll slap you. Yeah. Slap me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slap the glasses <laughs> into the pot. <laughs> slap me now. Yeah. Slap me now. What's the, what's the Indian show, man? How can she slap? How can she slap? Oh, bro. bro I don't know what show that was, but Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that. the whole set rushed him. Yeah, he yeah. He was yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> why don't you just slap? Why don't you just fuck off? You go. He said, "Maybe, maybe we don't like you." <laughs> yeah. well, why don't you just fuck off? Yeah. You go. <laughs> you blue. You bloody fuck. <laughs> but that's so dramatic. But I, 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 they rushed there. Living there. And, and, and he was. You asking for it? You asking for it? You're, you're dying, dying for, for it? <laughs> Get off my back that is the funny do you know why it's funny because she does about 10, 10 accents in like 30 seconds bro I find that hilarious but you dying for it I put it up about once a month because you don't remember you this you pull it up <laughs> you don't remember this though on Twitter easily 500 likes bro Bro, easily you dying for it I get off my back that stuff. but bro how do you feel like I don't want to leave her that you've done so much stuff bro it feels like yeah do you know like what winning it's the like, BAFTA for the latest show I picked that up today you know yeah, yeah, I swear yeah, down. I got the gold yeah. thing, yeah. Finally today. Yeah, put that Instagram story tomorrow so we can see. Oh, it's that. coming up. I've yeah. got a couple of pictures already. Right, still, cool, 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 cool. got to do oh, a sorry, couple of selfie and that. Yeah, so good lighting and that. But I'm thinking because the thing is, it's like I'm thinking like, I just, how do I drop the picture? Like, what time? Like six o'clock? Like three o'clock. traffic? Yeah, <laughs> prime time, <laughs> isn't it? Prime time, peak I need, time. I need all the likes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the likes. So yeah, no, do you know it's it's been weird because like the last three years, what I've been able to do is like, I'll be honest, like winning the BAFTA. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted the BAFTA in it. Yeah. Because in TV, that's like the highest award oh, you can bro. get. Oh, bro, BAFTA's a mad like, thing, bro. Up there. The thing is, in the And States, that will guarantee that Jonathan Ross invites you to all his Christmas parties. <laughs> mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's weird, though? When I read articles in like BAFTA winning comic, it's like having a knighthood. Like a yeah, cert. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Price mad. goes up, innit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I can't confirm nor deny. I mean, <laughs> I you know what's got me there? Hey, you know what's got me there? No, but I can imagine you having. You almost fucked up with that, like, bro. <laughs> it's mad. <laughs> you should see the jewels in the house. <laughs> He's like, you're good, but not that good. <laughs> no, do you know what it is with the back? Because I in TV. When I start to learn about what award is what and how much value it can yeah. add to your, to your, even to your your TV program series, it adds so much value because then people are like, oh, it's BAFTA winning. Mm. Oh, okay, cool. I'll check this out. It's an institution, like, man. Oh, bro. Like, like even like when um, someone was coming out with an album, yeah, for mm. example, and they'll be like Grammy award winning, and it's like, yeah, that's the stamp. But you trust it. It's got, yeah, it's got yeah, that stamp. Like, isn't that's it? certified. Yeah, hundred like, percent, man. But the maddest thing is, I'll be honest, yeah. I was like, boom, I really want to win the BAFTA. I didn't know, I thought, because last year we went to the award show, innit? Yeah. And I was gassed. I was like, right, I'm going to the award show. Obviously, I'm like, cool, I want to do some press, because everyone's lining up, innit? Hey, man, can we get a selfie right here, too? Of course. And like, see, Samson there, Tommy was there, um, Tossin Cole was there. There's a couple of the man them, so already like, well, oh, he's here, man, I'll see the shoes on. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. So you get there, and then like, when the press is there, no one, they want to really talk to you, innit? And that, look, I'm not a play, I'm not, but at that time I wanted to really promo like the latest show. Of course. Because that cool, it's announced, it's happening. But like none of the news outlets, they weren't really bothered. They're just a bit like, oh, you're right. Why do, like, why, why do you think that is? 
I don't know because it's your 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 stock is not high enough. That's okay. just what it is. Yeah. As your stock, and I've noticed it when I've gone to any kind of thing where there's press there. Yeah. When your stock is high enough, then they're like, yeah, boom, like we want to interview this person. Yeah. When your stock ain't high enough, you're just another another person. Oh God, brother. Yes, yeah, all right, long on. time. You enough. okay? Jeez, shining D-Rags, boy. No, that's, <laughs> that's what the man they might right, we'll get back to the BAFTA thing. Man Whoa. has got the bejeweled <laughs> D-Rag. That's the G-Unit D-Rag. <laughs> shining. <laughs> The uh, yeah, I said Mike, Mike Jackson in 88. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the diamonds are dancing on the Durag. I love H, you know. Keep it in the One classic. One of a kind, bro. Deeding, 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 bro. <laughs> you, know, you know, Michael Jackson was on the car. Mm. Shika, <laughs> shika, shika. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Eddie, are you okay? Are you okay, Ed? Yeah? You know, it's all oh, quiet. God, God. <laughs> he loves it. He, lo- he loves it. Do you know what, yeah? When I first, like, bro, I was the first to see H, yeah? But I didn't see the glisten, bro. Yeah. Like, Look, I want to clock because he probably has a big look. I looked over is, like, oh, shit. This. No, because I, could, I couldn't see your face at first. I was like, bro, this guy's do rag is... I thought, it was at, I thought it was raining outside. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, it's raining outside. I see the dude, I said, whoa, who is that? Because you know when it's velvet, yeah, sometimes the rain sits in it. Yes. It doesn't yeah. soak in, it just mm. sits. So you're thinking, hmm. He knew what he was doing at Durag when he bought it still. He came in. I understand. He it, knew what he was doing. It works. You know, you know when you buy certain things, you're That's like. the Arabian Nights Durag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 that was as bad as my got a fight. <laughs> Arabian I, I don't let him get a joke for your car. I've got like jewels and that in it shining. I see you shining. I'm back to the bathroom. <laughs> I big up page a thousand times. Like. <laughs> nah, the BAFTA for me, like I, I wanted to win one. Yeah, and then I remember I was chilling at home, and I wrote the speech before I got nominated. So when I got nominated, I was like, oh, mad, I got nominated. But then because it's via Zoom and stuff, I remember we was in this big Zoom, yeah, yeah, and everyone's in there, like Jodie Comer from Killing Eve is there, bare other actors are in this Zoom. So everyone's like, hey, you're right. Then they take you in this other room. I, my ward was up first. He done like a little dress rehearsal via Zoom. Okay. Guys, this is what it'll be like when you get called, rare, tear, tear. So I thought, if we do a dress rehearsal, because they say, they say like, and the winner is, and they say, for example, it could be this, but I said, if I come up in the dress rehearsal, I know I haven't won in it. Uh, you know, okay, it's one okay, of those okay, ones. Yeah, yeah. So if we was to win the Oscar, I would say the winner is Bola. Okay, yeah. so when you get live, so obviously, boom, now we've got it. And oh, yeah. is that how it's done? So in the dress rehearsal, I was like, oh, cool, like, my name didn't come up. Okay, because mm. I've learned, yeah, just from going to award shows, if you come up first and you know with a video reel, you ain't winning, blood. You ain't winning. And I've been nominated for stuff so many times before. Oh, so you know. You're like, oh, right, we're up first. That's a bit of a light stunt. And it happened. No, no. It let, ha- it land, let it land, let it land, let it land. <laughs> it happened <laughs> last year at the BAFTAs. Mm. The big nasty was the first one to be seen. Oh, because you got PTSD at this point, so you know. So I'm it? like, all right, cool. I yeah. thought we was going to win, we didn't. Then I got, a, I got nominated for something earlier this year. I was at first again. Ah, didn't win. Okay. So this time I was like, if I come up first, so obviously now when it's live, mm. I'm like, oh, bro, I've come up last. Mm. Cool, cool. Looking promising. So when they called it, yeah. I, and it was like, everyone, whatever career you, you're in, you kind of have that moment. that like, well, I feel like I've kind of arrived now. Mm. Where people like, now it's, it's different. When I go into like film something, people know who you are as before. You're like, oh, you're right, love. You okay? Doing your makeup. All right. If you can sit in the chair. Well, now it's like, hey, you're right there. You're Mo, right? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. And it's not like that turns you into a dickhead. Like that, mm. however you want to let that turn you it into, could, though. is up to you, mm. innit? It's not that people fluff over you, but for winning something like that, it allows you for your creativity to want to explore more things than yeah. just, It justifies all the small comedy clubs and trying to yeah, change shit at like retail and yeah. days you may have called in sick and just having to like, the grind, yeah, yeah, it? yeah, of course. But at the same time, how many people, like from where we're from, win these things, innit? Yeah. It's normally a luxury just to go, innit? Yeah. Like, rah, bruv, man, man went, you know? Yeah. So winning it, I didn't feel like it was just me winning it. I felt like there's this is bare people's award. Of course. Like, even all right, you might not hold it, but at the same time, you'd be like, rah, blood, man, I see my man at Sunday show, you know, bruv. Like, everyone had some part of the journey that they could say that, ah, I remember watching my man on here or I followed him from here or I just watched the latest show from there. Everyone had some point. So that's why when I won it, I was like, as much as it's mine, I feel like it's more people's than it is this mine. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's a big deal, man. But even when you win it, apparently someone's telling me that when you win it, that like, you know, like all the new films that come out, they send you like DVDs. So like, so you can watch them before they're out. Some oh, yeah. of the new films. Do like, you even James have a Bond DVD player or not? 
yeah, but like for this, like it's free, isn't it? Like, <laughs> 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 I'll find one. What? What? Bro. What to watch? To watch James Bond before it's come out? Like, Man, you go yeah. to cinema? <laughs> no. You you figure it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you figure it out. <laughs> At this point, I have to use my. He, he was trying console. to think, and he was like, "Nigga, it's free. <laughs> it's free, man. <laughs> it's free. It's free. <laughs> Why are you giving yourself a dick? It's free, man. Figure it out, man. Yeah, no, you know, what are you not saying? Yeah, I'm going to watch Avengers. Oh, I man, I got that on DVD. You know? How? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's Bro, a fun. fresh brand the, like it already got sent on to DVD me by Marvel. That is the maddest stuff. Like, what did you get in the barbers? Nah, Marvel sent it. Must in the yeah. barbers. <laughs> Marvel on Blu-ray. That's yeah. when you're, you're new no one's wa- fish. You know when your boy is gone. No one's walking past the screen, bro. None. Just, but just, I like that for authenticity, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I yeah. Authenticity. Yeah, like I, I like that. I, I like nah, that. Nah, enjoy the hood, bro. bro. Nah, nah, if nah, Marvel nah, is nah, sending bro. me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like fresh from the studio, yeah. first edit. Mm. Bro, man, I'm getting the raw cuts. I remember deleted scenes are in the thing, brother. I remember I watched this one DVD. My man was still sorting out the, the zoom on the on the lens, bro. Oh, so he's doing in and halfway out halfway through, and he's oh. kept checking it, getting up, checking. You could tell he's touching it. That's how I was like, nah, nah, I'm not, bro. If you get a chance to to live like live a little bit, bro. Okay. Live a little bit, bro. You like the authenticity. I like it. Maybe, maybe, Not maybe, me, bro. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I'm raised wrong in it, but you know, I'll watch one film. People were clapping in the film, bro. What? You were clapping, bro. What, pre-cut for Certain the NHS? Certain scenes, bro. The film. Clapping. Man's <laughs> clapping for NHS in the cinema. Nah, nah, I'm not in it. Yeah, that, that's nah, too nah, much. Nah. That's too much. Yeah, nah, I'm. That's yeah, crazy I'm, though. So BAFTA, like even you doing a big nasty show was a big deal for a lot of us. Yeah, that was a huge deal. How, how, how did that come about? Because I want. Yeah. You know, I'm conscious. I want us to kind of make sure we cover stuff before like YouTube cuts off and stuff, but. Do you know like, what it is for me? Yeah. How that came about is, so imagine I'm doing Cut the Cans tour now, innit? Yeah. And as I was doing that tour, all the TV people started like coming in. I'd find, like my manager, she actually wouldn't tell me, innit? She's like, I'm not gonna tell you, but there's a few people here tonight, innit? Okay, but just yeah. have a good show, basically, innit? And I, I remember, because I used to come out as the character, as a geezer, you come to the show, innit? Yeah. So I come out as a geezer character. So I'm like, what's going on, mate? Where are you from? One guy was like, yeah, I'm from BBC. I was like, oh. All right, cool. I said to another guy, the same show. What's up, mate? Where, where are you from? I'm from Vice. I was like, oh, raw. That like, people are really coming to this show from TV and stuff, isn't it? So then I was kind of already doing this small pilot on something else with four in it. It was something we was trying to do with um, BBC Three. They was like, it's just not for us. So I was like, cool. So like four was like kind of interested, but they wanted to develop it a little bit to do it as like a small pilot. So he was kind of doing it with them. Then obviously, as I started doing the tour. What got traction of TV is that all my shows started selling out. So once of we got course. to Clapham Grand, you'd put a show on and it'd sell out in like two, three minutes. Yeah. You put another show on and set. So everyone was like, right, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, I mean, it's not. They want to be in the business of mode. And also, game, we had no promo. Only promo was my Instagram and Twitter, maybe Facebook, but I had no physical, like, like no PR. PR companies. Mm. Like, no newspapers, nothing. Yeah. Tickets were just selling out. So that also was getting the attention of people from TV. And then, um, I remember a lot of people from Channel 4 would come in it okay. to one of the shows. And that, I remember that show though, I went in because I was like, I know you that are here in it. Mm. And then I remember two weeks later, there was like, oh, like we'd love to like come down and come in for a meeting. I didn't know what the meeting was about, my manager. We had no clue. I just thought this small thing we're developing, they might say, yeah, like we're going to give you a little bit of bud- like budget for it. Mm. Maybe do it for like E4 and stuff. So I thought, cool, like, I'll be happy with that. That'll mm. be decent. And they said, yeah, look, we love what you do. You're a great talent and we deserve that you, we think you deserve to be in front of your own primetime show Crazy. at 10 o'clock. And we can then let you pick the, you know, production company you want to pick. Here's a few that we would suggest. So there was like two or three set up and then went from there. And then in the same conversation, he said, we'll also develop. Hey.